welcome back to Detroit Garage. Another dyno day. Today is Saturday, the 28th of December, 2024. We've got the uh, dyno mule all set up with the uh, water meth injection. I've got that at a 25% uh, mix. Water meth, 75% water. And it's on a 15 PSI switch. So that should work out pretty nice. Got my new turbo on. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out. And we've got the new pump. Find the mass, I've already had a few spills. Uh, this is basically the inaugural start with the new pump. It's uh, one and a half inch in and one and a half inch out, basically. The old one was restricted to an inch. And the old green one sitting there. So with any luck, this works really well. The exhaust system is just cheap uh, HVAC, home HVAC system, four inch and then into a five outlet. You'll see that in a bit when it's running. So we'll fire Jimmy up. I had him plugged in and uh, he should fire up really nicely.
go guys another hour yeah another hour beating on uh, the dyno mule so the exhaust still needs to be worked out here it keeps coming apart on me so it looks like I'm gonna have to rivet those sections together that water pump is extremely powerful <laughs> it, it brings Jimmy to his knees very quickly anyway I'll run another dyno session next Saturday and uh, get that tack working this week so we have uh, that tack working this one here looked like it was going on the fritz on us so the water meth seems to be working uh, that turbo I don't know if that's gonna be a go I think it's uh, too big The uh, compressor wheel is just too big. Anyway, we'll play with that a little bit more. But uh, yeah, happy. Pulled some better numbers. I, I Because I have to screw around with that pump so much, I didn't get a good look. I think the compressor on that turbo 66 millimeters is just too big. Um, I think I'm getting more smoke than I did before. Anyway, another hour uh, to confirm that. But uh, Jimmy's running really nice. I think I might just put 9290s in them now. Or maybe run one more session with the 9085s that are in it now. So... Another dyno session down, that makes it uh, six hours of beating on Jimmy. And uh, some tweaks to be made with the uh, cold air charge air system. The uh, Somebody was asking the temperature drop the last run I did, it was 100, uh, sorry, 275 down to 90. So that's a significant drop. EGTs on this run were 900 degrees. Uh, and I think they lowered 50 when I put the water meth on, but I believe I had better results with the uh, stock uh, Garrett the stock silver Garrett that was on it before. Anyway, I'll confirm that with the next dyno run. And after this turbo, I've got a Borg Warner K27 that I ran in my truck as a compound system. Um, I'm gonna put that turbo on after this one and see how it does. It's got a lot smaller uh, wheel, it's a 50, 56 or 54 millimeter compressor wheel and a 58.5 or 59 millimeter turbine wheel so a lot smaller but that'll give me an idea of how this you know how the uh, turbos respond to this fueling and whatnot but it's still <laughs> it's still putting out smoke like a freight train it's uh it's unacceptable so we'll have to work on that. Well, thanks for checking in, guys. Uh, another dyno run for Jimmy. Uh, went pretty well. A few little kinks to iron out with the, uh, the pump and the exhaust system. But overall, it was a success. Um, we'll do one more hour, I think, with the 9085s in it. And then we'll take the 9085s and that turbo off. Or maybe just swap that other turbo in. Anyway, I have a think on that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And again, thanks for checking in. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.